the Fox 2 Cooking School this morning. Dr. Lauren Powell, who's also an author, has got a new cookbook out, and it's a nice little pocket size. I like a, a small book. Yes. It's very manageable, right? Easy to read. You can literally sit down and read it in like an hour. Everything is easy and super digestible. So like just that. a quick background. Dr. Lauren is a board-certified family physician practicing in Atlanta, yes. uh, originally from Detroit. Yes, ma'am. Welcome home. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, and you're really spreading the word about food being our medicine, right? Right. I mean, food is, and in your health, are directly connected, and sometimes people are a little bit confused about that, and I think the media makes it kind of hard. It's like, what do we eat? Is meat good? There's is so it bad? There's so many studies. We don't know what to do, doctor, honestly. Yeah, it is confusing, and so I just try to make it super simple, and that's part of what the book talks about, is just making food super simple. I think we've complicated it a lot. Mm. I like that. What do you mean by simplifying food? Just not adding ingredients to it, or just eating it raw? What do you mean? I mean, you should understand what you're eating. Like, mm. it should be very clear. You know when you look at the, the ingredients of a Twinkie? Oh, yeah. It's like, what the? I don't yeah. even know what I'm eating. There's 22 yeah. ingredients. Yeah. There are words you don't understand. What's the ingredients on asparagus? It's just asparagus, asparagus yeah. right? It's, asparagus. it's, it's yeah. very simple. So yeah. we should know what we're eating, and it should just be easy. Yeah. So what do you have? So here you have, like, a charcuterie board, I guess. you Is that what you're calling this? I call this my grazing board. Okay, grazing Because you board. just kind of graze with your family over, and you just kind of, like graze up and down the board. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of that. What specifically do you have on? I mean, we see some cucumber and what else do you got going so on? So I like to do this as like a healthy alternative for like a summer barbecue or summer, right? Because usually there's not a lot of healthy stuff. Mm -hmm. and um, the only healthy thing is the boring iceberg salad. So this is something that's lots of variety. So I've got some English cucumbers. I've got some tomatoes. I've got some fresh avocado. I've got some boiled eggs. I've got some roasted red pepper hummus. I've grilled some salmon. And then these are my favorite turkey loaded sneak attack meatballs. And that's because I've put broccoli in them. I've put kale in them. I've put parsley, cilantro, onions. And I've baked them. And so they're like get super. Get out of here. You won't even get it. I can't wait for you to touch it. You won't believe it. And then that's I've made idea. this homemade chimichurri sauce, which really goes good with everything. Mm -hmm. um, but there's fresh parsley, cilantro, garlic, tons of garlic, roasted red pepper, oh, olive oil. It's awesome. great. And then I um, grilled some asparagus for you. And then a little bit of bread because everybody likes to have a little bit of bread. But I use these small sizes. It helps us keep our portions in, mm -hmm. in check rather than like a big loaf or a bunch of rolls. You add a little something to everything. Like there's some there's some seasoning on the eggs. Looks like the asparagus. Uh, what kind of, of oil course. do you use to cook? I cook everything in olive oil because olive oil, olive oil okay. has been shown to have a health benefit. So that's the predominant oil that I cook in. Seasonings, are they important? Sorry. Yes, and I like to use lots of flavors that don't cause me to use a lot no, of salt. So I was going to say a lot of salt. So a lot of fresh, you can see a lot of fresh herbs in mm -hmm. here, a lot of salt-free seasonings. Mm. And, and then I made a summer salad. Yeah, what's Ryan got going on over here? So that's just non-traditional, right? Usually we have like these boring salads. So this is amazing. I've roasted some corn. I've got some garbanzo beans, some cilantro, some fresh onions, some tomatoes, some avocados. And I made this homemade lime honey vinaigrette dressing. Well. Juice. All right. You're going to love it. I'm in. So are there foods that you say that can help our skin, our hair, our nails. Yeah, so definitely you want to have foods that have lots of water because you want hydration mm. with vitamin A, vitamin C. You want lots of protein. Protein is amazing for the hair and for your skin. Mm. Zinc. I'm good at that. I eat a lot of steak and chicken. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, that's great. Just make sure it's not deep fried and not a lot of butter, but that's, that's great. That's great. Well, we've got a lot of our antioxidants, vitamin A, vitamin C, which is amazing for your skin and for your hair. All right. You've got a book signing. Yeah, so I have a book signing on, on Saturday. Um, it's with a Akir Hair Salon, and so we're going to be there. We're going to be doing some demos. Um, I'm going to be making some smoothies. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be talking about all the things that you can eat to help your hair you and your skin. You guys want to try one of the meatballs? It would be try? rude if we let's didn't. Not, please, right? I, mean, I got place for you, so please taste. Let's not narrow it down to one thing. Yeah, right. I please, I want to hear what you have to say. I want to graze. Yeah, graze. Yeah, <laughs> please. Uh, all right. When you come home, do they make you cook? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then when I've been gone, people are like, oh, great, you in town? What you cooking? Not, not, can I take you out to dinner? You're home. No, right. But it's, oh, you're home. Can you come over and can I bring my family too? Yes. But for family cooking, though, that's a different thing. How do you convince your family uh, that this is what we need to be eating more of? 
I think when they taste it and see how delicious it is, because yeah. it sounds kind of weird, like if you're just describing it in words, like, oh, I'm going to make a board, it's going to have vegetables and a couple of meat, and you're going to be like, oh, right, mm -hmm. no barbecue, I mean, right. you know? and so, but if you show them, it's like, I think they see it and they taste it and they're like, I agree right. with you, Dr. Lou. I think cooking and eating should be fun, and that board looks Isn't fun it? to me. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. All right, we're digging so it. I'm in. Mm -hmm. All right. Love it, love it. Uh, Dr. Lauren's uh, best-selling book, it is right here, it is called... Food Essentials for the Busy Professional. That's what I'm talking about, Doc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's it tasting there, Lily? Oh, yeah. I'm on another one. All right. That I'll one's take gone already. Right. Make sure you get some of the chimichurri it. sauce. Do I dip this in there? You can dip it in there. That's your sauce. That's your sauce. Oh, we're dipping, are we? All right. Not double dipping, though. <laughs> well, welcome home, Doc. Welcome home. Thanks for Thanks having for me. Stopping. Thanks so much for having me. We love it when you come in. Uh, we're going to find out what you guys are talking about. Hashtag denied. Right after this. Great. I'm going to need another.